everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're going to be talking about Mr. Splitfoot by Samantha Hunt. This copy was a gift to me from my friend Susan Burgess. Uh, she's usually in chat. Um, well, not usually. She pops up in chat, but she'll be down there in the comment section also. She was nice enough to send me this, along with several other books. This one, so far, out of all the ones that I've read that she sent me, is my favorite. This is the third best novel I have read in 2020. Um, I know Samantha Hunt has, she has a short story collection out, I think it's in the dark dark or something like that, um, and she's got another novel coming. I will definitely be buying both of those um, as soon as possible. This one takes place in an orphanage, this one takes place on the road, it's a bit of a road trip uh, story, walking, not driving, um, and there's a bit of the supernatural about the book. Um, when I first read Mr. Splitfoot, I thought there was going to be more of like a devil or a Satan kind of subplot. That's what took me so long to read it because I don't care too much about that kind of thing. Um, anything that deals with uh, what is it, religion, period, I, I kind of tend to stay away from. Um, but I do like stories uh, of like magical realism or fabulism or any of those uh, really off-the-wall things. And I think this one kind of fits into it. Um, especially once you get to a certain part, because with magical realism uh, and fabulism, you really, you really don't trust the narrator. Um, you can't trust the narrator, and it hops back and forth between a first-person POV and a third-person um, POV. And I, I loved how that broke up maybe scenes that might have been uh, told uh, not as well in a different style. Uh, the writing here, though, man, uh, Samantha Hunt can write her ass off. Uh, there wasn't a single time when I felt bored just reading just scenes of like slice of life kind of things. There was no point in time where I was like, I really want this to be over. I took my sweet time with it. it took me months and months and months. I read Ohio um, and it took me months and months to read Ohio while I was reading this one. I was doing about 10, maybe 15 pages a night and just enjoying it. Uh, just savoring the, the beauty of the language. Um, there is a certain atmosphere to the book that I really enjoyed. It's a, it's just, it's, there's a darkness to it. Um, there's a, there's a sense that something is amiss. Something is wrong. Um, now going back to the whole devil thing, if I miss something, if you've read this and you caught more of the devil Satan vibe than I did, please let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But yeah, this, I, I don't really have much else to say because I don't want to spoil anything for you. Um, other, I mean, even what I said may be a little too much. Um, but definitely go out and pick this up if you're a fan of atmosphere, tone, and just really, really beautiful writing. If you've read this and you liked it, um, or if you disliked it, especially if you disliked it, let's have a conversation down there in the doobly-doo about it. No spoilers, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, it's been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!